So because of that, uh, let's deal with an ideal optical system first. And uh, the scope of this lecture is really about that. So we want to first see how to, by using hand and rulers, we can uh, make an, uh, a simple lens based optical image. So that's a ray tracing. And I want to uh, make, uh, draw this. Uh, let's go follow. Let's assume this is uh, a lens in our eye. And there is an object outside. And this is the image. All right. So the lens. And a lens has a focal length. As you remember that if you have a lens, sunlight, it's, it's almost like a parallel collimated light because so far and the rays, when you put a lens, you all have an experience that they can focus light and they can be so hot that you can even make a fire out of uh, this. So if the object is there, you have a lens, the most important thing is you mark the focus. Uh, the role of focus is if the rays are parallel to the optical axis like this, and it must go through the focus. So the rays of this red goes like this. In fact, for uh, finding where the image is formed, you only need two rays. Remember, the rays coming out of this point should become a point here. So you just need one more ray. So let's say we send a ray to the center of the lens and then the, it's symmetric. So it doesn't have to bend towards the either direction. So it just goes through and it keeps going. And some point because this ray has bent it further and this didn't bend. So they will meet at some point. In fact, this is the point where image will become forming. And another just auxiliary one, because this has a uh, focal length here. What if the ray goes through this focus? Then because it's a focus of this lens, it will become parallel to the optical axis. So you will realize these three rays must converge it to a point, And that's where the point of this arrow head. Then look at the geometric relationship of this object distance from the lens, uh, let's define as d sub zero. And the image form, the distance is d sub i. Then from here, you can find the geometric relationship of, of a similarity. So for example, you can see the object, let's the height of the object as a h r o and the height of the image as h sub i, then this is h o. And this follow this geometric two triangles, they are similar. And, and this is h o and this is h i. And this distance is d sub o minus f and this distance is f. And also, if you look at this uh, similarity, and this ratio to this will be the same as this ratio to this. With this simple relationship, what you will find out uh, is, if you can sub, uh, remove d sub i and d sub o, you will find and this relationship. Oh, sorry, I think if you remove this h sub o and h sub i, because that ratio we call as how much elongation happens and we define it as a magnification. So the height ratio will be magnification from the geometry of this, you can follow this triangle of this and versus this. So the ratio of h o to hi will be the same as ratio of d sub o to d sub i. So that is magnification. And with this relationship, you will find out a very famous uh, relationship between uh, when the object is this distance of d sub o, uh, what will be d sub i, and the parameter should be this focal length f. So that's what we call lens equation. A simple, easy way to consider this is what if 
this distance is 2f and 2f, then you will find out this will hold. So if object is somehow twice farther from the focal length, then the image should be twice farther from the length. Does it make sense? And in fact, from this image, uh, what if this uh, d sub o is in fact smaller than f? So let's say d sub object is smaller than f, such as half of the f, then this term will be bigger than the left hand side. That means d sub i, the sign has to be negative. And we'll talk about this later. So this is uh, what you want to practice at home and try to derive this. This is very, very easy. And here we assume that the light is perfect. So point become a perfect. But later I will tell you that in fact, the information from the object, the scattering, the light will go elsewhere as well, even different angle. But remember this ray will not pass through this object and there's a limitation here. So this is a kind of block you can consider. The interaction of wave nature interact with the obstacle will bend the light and that makes an obscurity in the image. That's what I mean, the diffraction limit. And that will cause the point will not be perfect at the image space. 